Hello, my name is Mark Mason, and I'm here to present to you how I memorize the Ohm's Law wheel. Uh, we, what we have is, is 12 different formulas that consist of four different elements. These variables uh, within our electrical power, P for watts or power, I for current or amps, R and ohms or resistance, and then we have our voltage, which is expressed as E for electromotive force, or V for voltage, and I like to use V. Basically, I was studying to for a test and trying to combine some of these formulas, trying to look for patterns to help me remember this wheel because it's a big pain. And <clears throat> realized one morning that a lot of this is unnecessary that we have these four variables here and let's break it down a little bit further into the power formula and Ohm's law formula with the Ohm's law formula if you're not familiar with it this these the triangles or you'll see circles this is a divided line this is a multiplication line take our voltage divided by current equals resistance or we can take current times resistance and get our voltage. Very simple, very self-explanatory. Same thing with the power formula. We've got our power, volts, and current. Notice that both of these formulas here consist of power, volts, amps, and resistance. So what I did was I combined the two to give me this. Don't worry about this piece right here. We will get to that. Um, what this is, is our two formulas. Current was on the bottom of both of them. So I eliminated one of them, and we're just going to share this between the two formulas. And actually, it, it does help with our memorization here. We have our Ohm's Law power formula. They do not interact with one another. So as an example, if we're looking for P for power, but we're given the variables of current and resistance. Right now, we're going to solve the Ohm's law, taking 2 times 12 to give us 24. Now our voltage, 24, is going to carry over to the power formula, being 24 volts now times 2 amps will give us a total of power of 48 watts. This was not difficult. Very easy to, to remember and come up with this. Um, but on the other hand, if we go to the Ohm's Law power wheel, to come up with power, we have I squared times R. So we'll take I squared, 2 times 2, equals 4, 4 times 12 gives us 48 watts. So we have the same answer, only it's a bit more complicated when we get into the squared portion of this and, and trying to, to memorize. Notice that we've got that scattered throughout the wheel. Um, so when I came up with this formula here, it actually eliminated 10 of the 12 formulas in the wheel that really made things easy for me um, and leaves us with only these two and that is when we have power and resistance as our variables which don't aren't shared in either of those formulas so it does make things a little more complicated and that's when I came up with this now there's a few rules going with this little formula here first being X is the desired variable so if we're looking for V or I, that would be X. The second one being we are always using the Ohm's Law formula to accomplish this. And the third is we put our power variable wherever the non-desired variable is. So if we have, if we're looking for voltage, we take the square root of P times R to accomplish that because I put P 
in the non-desired variable. So the square root of p times r is equal to the square root of 12 times 3, 36. The square root of 36 is 6 volts. So we got 6 volts with this. And if we're looking for current, we take the square root of power divided by resistance, and that gives us 12 divided by 3, the square root of 4 is 2. So now we have 2 amps. And that really concludes this whole formula here. We take this instead of this, and I realized after coming up with this that it's not memorizing the Ohm's Law wheel, it's eliminating it and coming up with a new perspective on how to to know and just understand these variables. And I hope this helps you. Thank you very much for watching and feel free to, to leave some comments. Good day.